Welcome to the Shulamite Podcast, an extension of Shulamite Ministries and Shulamite.com, with weekly interviews and teaching with author and speaker Martha Kilpatrick and hosted by John Enslow. This weekly podcast is a way to stay connected to the ministry. So come experience anointed messages, not giving just another method, but a living impartation. And I do, I mean, I, I do have to say thank you, Martha, because your whole deal when you were at the Abbey and God basically um, took you into your your mother's early death when you were 14 years old and where you had to passionately charged deal with him about something that was so crushing to a little girl to watch your mother die of, of cancer that y- your experiences fueled mine and that I'm really grateful for that and I'm hoping that mine will fuel others because um, it wasn't just little stories you were telling it was encounters with a sovereign God and your encounters with a sovereign God it is impossible for us to encounter the living God and not be changed it's impossible and not only was it changing into your life and transformative in your life because of of me being under you it was transformative in my life and he's you know He's gone in, and it's it's amazing. Okay, that's just amazing. So, uh, I'm hoping that y'all will will get it, enjoy it, and and uh, love it as much as I have because um, meeting the sovereign God like this has uh, changed everything. I'll just say, just very briefly, that what I met in God as He took me to my mother's death and all the the suffering of that he said to me I hold the keys of hell and of death meaning I'm sovereign I didn't know that was the word now thank me so I thanked him and then he healed my soul and memory of of those days of her death so he had me come under his sovereignty first so that he could give me the healing and up of his sovereignty. It was his sovereignty that healed me. And I walked out of that Episcopal Abbey changed. It was his sovereignty that wounded you, and it was his sovereignty that healed you. And if you can't embrace the wounding hand of God, you will never experience the healing hand of God. That's the tragedy. That you can remain, you can remain affixed to the wound and never come into the healing and I don't want that to I don't want that to be anyone's experience oh my god please you know John we we talked about one more factor that we were going to discuss and it is that in God's sovereignty his his the tree of life is transcendent over the tree of death in fact life is so life that it swallows death. And that's what that experience was for me. He will he has the scriptures full of it. Joseph, Job, Paul, Daniel, suffering that God God transcends and turns a person into someone that they've never been for his purposes, for his sovereign purposes. Joseph is a picture of Christ. And he was put through what he was put through for a sovereign purpose that he didn't know. But because he accepted the wounding and ex- he got the vision that his brothers meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. And that's the story of every story. Yes, there's evil out there. Yes, there are wrongs. Yes, there are abuses to children, adults, everyone. But having a just a speck of belief in his sovereignty will bring his sovereign purpose and swallow up the pain and everything. That's what he did about my mother's death. I carried that pain for 20 years. And when he put me in the crucible and I cried out to him, he, he caused me, here's how you see it, solve it, Martha. I hold the keys to hell and death, 
No one does. No man, no Satan, no devil, nothing. I hold the keys to hell and death. Now, thank me. <laughs> and I mean, I was a transformed person because he did something in the spirit in me. And, and it's, that's just the way of the tree of life. His sovereignty swallows every pain, every horror, every nightmare, every problem, every sin. His sovereignty, thank God he is sovereign, that he's powerful enough to take all of it and make it as he did for Joseph and Job. Job, in the end, saw God and was melted. So you have made that clear because of your own healing along the way. It's, that's why the book is powerful. It's not a doctrine. It's not the doctrine of sovereignty. It's the experience of the touch of sovereignty. And I'm, I'm so grateful. Again, that, that's, that is why the cover is what the cover is to me, is because it's, it's a touch. It is a reach touch. And it's um, uh, an, an experience. This book is an experience. You know, I, I said that about the, the, the book that I did, um, Where Were You, God?, my testimony book. And I said, you know, this isn't just for me. This is, this is, uh, this is an interactive book. Well, this book is the same. And maybe that's because that's how God wants to speak through me. And I, I'm I'm grateful. I'm grateful that that's how he speaks through me. I'm grateful that, that that's how he chooses to speak. Because that's the God I've always looked for, is that interactive God. I want a God that's touchable, tangible, uh, reachable. Uh, I'm not interested in, in a God that's head knowledge and theology and creeds and, you know, though, though the, all of that... Theology and doctrine is not something that I'm throwing out. It's just there's something behind all of that. You're talking about something. I'm talking about someone. And, uh, you know, doctrine and theology is leading you, hopefully, to someone. You know, John, there's an incredible statement in Romans 8. All things work together for good to those who love him according to his purpose. And that statement, we, we look at it and we think, well, yeah, yeah, right. But it's true. The, God gives you the love for him that enables you to let him have his own story in your life. And he was in time explained to me exactly why he put me through the, through suffering and neglect and loneliness and grief. I, I have found an old letter of mine recently where I wrote to someone and said, please help me, I miss my mother so much. And I knew that that person never answered that, nor could they give me the comfort I needed. Only God could. And strangely, I was very isolated following her death. But my point is, oh, okay, here it is. The Lord said to me, you will never minister to anyone except from that little girl. She is your connection to the pains of humanity. I can always associate with certain pains in life because I lived it and I was formed in the crucible but made victorious and God's love uh, God's love swallowed it all up so there was no pain and he turned it to the good of causing me to have a heart of compassion so sovereignly it was perfect what I went through couldn't have been any other way if I was going to have any empathy for humanity. So there is a purpose for every suffering, and he wants to transform it, transform you 
into, he molds you through all that you experience in life with specific design in mind so that all things come together for good to those who love him and are called according to his purpose. We hope you've enjoyed the Shulamite podcast. For all the latest from Shulamite Ministries, please visit us at shulamite.com where you'll find Martha's daily devotions, posts from getalongwithgod.com, and the online library of all of Martha's writings. At shulamite.com, downloading the free Shulamite app is easy, and livingchristianbooks.com is only a click away. Thank you for joining us on this journey to discover a God worth knowing.